no overhead obstructions, power lines, no body damage to the truck. Check the clearance lights, identification lights, probably not too good, not cracked or broken. Go down to the windshield. The windshield's properly mounted secured, not cracked or broken. My mirrors properly mounted and secured. Make sure the truck's not leaning from side to side. Look up under it. Got no leaks. No flat tires. License plates intact. It's up to date. Check the headlights. Properly mounted secured, not cracked or broken. White in color. Same for the other side. Go check the pit lights. Parking, emergency turn signals. Probably not secure, not cracked the boat. Air brand color. Convex mirrors, no missing nuts or bolts. Probably not secure. That's about it for this part. Cooling reservoir, properly mounted secured, cap is intact, filled to the proper level, no signs of leaks. We'll follow this hose back to the water pump down here. Properly mounted secured, no signs of leaks, no missing nuts or bolts. Exhaust system, properly mounted secured, no signs of leaks, that would be black suit. Alternator, properly mounted secured, no missing nuts or bolts. Jam nuts present, belt. No more than three quarter inches of freight. Check the wires. Make sure you're not broke. No frays in the wires. Going to the alternator. This side right here. Got the power steering reservoir. Cap is intact. Take that off. Make sure it's filled to the proper level. No signs of leaks. Air compressor. Uh, gear driven air compressor. It's down in here. Uh, properly mounted, secured. No missing nuts or bolts. No signs of leaks. Steering rod, no more than two inches of plate, properly mounted secured. Steering knuckle, properly mounted secured. No missing nuts or bolts. Engine oil cap, properly mounted secured. Engine oil dipsticks right here. Take that out, wipe it off. Make sure it's between add and full. Filling in gallons, not coarse. Gearbox, properly mounted secured. No missing nuts or bolts, no signs of leaks. Pitman oil, properly mounted secured. No missing nuts or bolts. Drag link, properly mounted secured, no missing nuts or bolts. The drag link's held on by two pitman arms. You gotta make sure castle nut, cotter pin is present. Going pretty good? Yeah. Right there, you got the control arm. Going straight across, hose the airbags up. Control arm out, it's properly mounted secured. Uh, no cracks in the control arm itself. Got another control arm out back here, it's properly mounted secured. Airbag right there, no abrasion, bulges, or cuts. Properly mounted secured. Tie rods right up under that. Properly mounted secured, no missing nuts or bolts. Make sure all the U bolts are holding up the control arm, no missing nuts or bolts. Uh, brake line, no signs of leaks, properly mounted secured. Brake chamber, properly mounted secured, no signs of leaks. Push rod and slack adjuster, properly mounted secured, it's no more than an inch of plate. Inside of the tire, you got the brake drum. No illegal welds, not cracked or broken. Brake pad, properly mounted secured. No less than a quarter inch thick. You gotta make sure the edges are square and not rounded. Front tires, gotta be virgin tires. 432 inch tread depth, no less. Make sure the tires are properly inflated to the manufacturer specifications. Inside and outside rim. No signs of illegal wheels. Properly mounted, secured. Lug nuts. Only way you can check them is with a commercial lug wrench. Properly mounted, secured. No signs of shiny metal or rush trails. The hub seal. Properly mounted, secured. No signs of this. 
You gotta check that with your pinky. Put your pinky in, comes up to the top of the pinky, you feel it. Catwalk steps, probably mounted secure. No ice, anything to make it fall. Rubber seal around the door, probably mounted secure. It's intact. My mirror's probably mounted secure, not cracked or broken. My left side mirror, probably mounted secure, not cracked or broken. The kick dog box. Three reflect triangles, fully charged fire extinguisher, 5 BC, 10 BC for hazmat. It's fully charged. Also, you got to check for electrical fuses. Fuel tank. I forgot it on my test, but uh, no leaks. No leaks in the fuel tank. You got to take the gas and fuel, fuel cap off. T-bars present. It has a chain rubber gasket. Check the gas level, take a look inside, the gas should be green. Can't be red. Metal, rubber, metal. No metal touching metal on the fuel clamps. Service light. Proper amount of security, not cracked or broken. White and color. Exhaust, no signs of leaks. No black suit. Proper amount of security. Exhaust mount. Proper amount of security, no missing nuts or bolts. Dummy hangers intact, no missing nuts or bolts. Trap protection valve, no signs of leaks. Properly mounted service line, emergency line. Electrical cable, properly mounted security. He's gonna ask you how many pins is inside this one. It's got a seven, seven pins. That's the pigtail. Take this off. I'm not gonna take it off, but when you inspect it, you gotta take it off. Got a rubber gasket. He's gonna ask you what the name of that is. It's called a grommet. Can't walk steps, can't walk, properly mounted secured, no missing nuts or bolts. Drive shaft, properly mounted secured, two universal joints, properly mounted secured, no missing nuts or bolts. The trailer tractor frame and the cross members, no signs of illegal wells, properly mounted secured. In front of the trailer, no missing nuts or rivets. Got clearance lights on the front. Amber in color, properly mounted secured, not cracked or broken. You got some more at the top, properly mounted secured, not cracked or broken. You got DOT tape on the back of the tractor. DOT tape, DOT tape on the side of the trailer, it's present. Front, the back of this uh, suspension is the same as on the front. So on, on the, uh, we get the other one at the back, that's where the leaf springs at. Forgot about this. Splash guard, 16 to 18 inches off the ground. Property matter secure. Uh, fifth wheel locking handle. It's in a locked position. It's property matter secured. Trailer apron. No signs of damage. Property matter secured. Fifth wheel mount, no missing nuts or bolts. It's property matter secured. Uh, no signs of daylight between the fifth wheel and the trailer apron. Uh, mud flaps, six to eight inches off the ground. DOT tape is present, it's properly mounted and secured. Hey, back here, the fifth wheel, the locking jaws of the fifth wheel has to be locked around the shank of the kingpin. You gotta call that out. It's properly mounted and secured. The brake lights, turn signals, tail lights, it's properly mounted and secured. Red in color, reverse lights, properly mounted, secured, not cracked or broken, and white in color. The landing gear, you gotta make sure there's nothing up under the landing gear. It's properly mounted, secured. Landing gear handles on the other side. Make sure it's in the locked position so it don't flap out when you drive. More DOT tape. Clearance lights, not cracked or broken. I forgot about the turn signal right there on the side of the track. Not cracked or broken. 
the sliding tandem. This one got four pins, two on this side, two on the other side. Make sure the pins are locked. The handle for the tandem is in the locked position. Brake lines, 18 to 20 inches off the ground. Make sure they're not rubbing the top of the tractor or anything to catch them on the ground. Leaf spring hanger, leaf spring hanger. Torque rod, right up under the leaf spring, leaf spring, no more than a quarter inch out of alignment. And that's about it for this one. That's about all they're gonna ask you for this one. Yeah, leaf spring, no more than a quarter inch out of alignment. Torque rod, leaf spring. These tires right here, they gotta have two third inch tread dip. You could have did it on this one or you could do it on that one. But 232 inch, um, 230 seconds of tread depth. Make sure you got two inches of space between the tires, the two rims on the inside. No space between those rims. Axle seal. Only way you can check that is if a mechanic checks it. And it has grease. The ones in the front, they got a oil. Identification light, turn signal, property mounted security, not cracked or broken, red in color. I'll show you the door hanger. Door hanger press. That's for the, when you open the doors up. Remember two different sets, two different sets of lights on the back. The ones on the outside, pet lights, parking, emergency turn signal. Two on the outside. That's the brake light. Proper amount of security, not cracked or broken, red in color. My door handles, my door hinges, door locks, proper amount of security, not cracked or broken. Identification lights, not cracked or broken, proper amount of security, red in color. DOT tape is present. License plate, up to date. You can see it from 25 feet away. You gotta have a white license plate line on, white in color. DOT bumper, proper amount of security in place. That's about it for the back of this uh, trailer. And look, the only thing on this on this trailer right here, he's gonna ask you about. He's gonna say anything different on this side and that side. Only thing different is it has a door, proper amount of security, the hinges are in place, and you also got the landing gear, the landing gear handle. You got to make sure it's in the locked position. And that's about it for this one right here. That's everything on the outside.